DJ Pro AI is not just an amazing DJ app, but it also is an amazing app for making beats with the built-in looper. So stay tuned till the end of this video to see what the looper can do. So there's a bunch of different ways to access the looper. There is a dedicated looper mode if you press the middle button and then go to looper mode. Although it may seem like you would want to use the looper mode when you are using the looper. I would recommend using it in pro mode because in looper mode, we have no view of our jog wheels and we don't have a lot of control over DJing, although we do have a bigger view of the looper. So I would recommend going into pro mode and then this whole bottom section is the looper and then up here we could see our waveforms so that we could add vocals, which I'll show you how to do after. And then we could also scratch too, which I like to do while I'm using the looper. So in in pro mode, this is what we're going to see down here. I'm going to go from left to right and show you what it all does. Left in the boxes usually is the drums. The next one is the percussions. And then the next one is the hi-hat. So if you want to make a simple kind of beatbox kind of drum beat, you just press one. And we have a very simple drum beat. Now to turn off the beat that you made, you just press the play button here. So now nothing is playing. And then when you press play again, it will resume playing the beat that you made. So for example, if we just do one, two, three, press pause. Now it's off, but when we press play again, it's gonna bring up the same beat. So you could have these beats set up and you could be DJing with tracks and songs and then you could press play and have the same beat that you made ready to go. Next is the volume. So we get a little volume slider. You could actually map this into your controller if you have an extra knob or slider. And then this will, you could gradually bring the volume up, bring it down. Or like I said, you could have your beat playing, but you could have all the you could have the volume lower and then fade it in when you're ready to use it. Over here to the right is BPM. The different packs are at different BPM. Over here in the middle, we have volume slider. So in the looper mode, we have volume sliders on each of them if we want them and you don't lose any boxes. But in pro mode, you only can control the volume once you pick a loop. So this one is on hi-hats four. So hi-hats four stays, we get the levels and we get the volume. So you could still individually change the volume, but you have to select your loop first, which gives us enough control. I don't think it's necessary to use the loop, the loop section and lose all of that real estate up here. As we get farther to the right, we get bass. The bass is usually after the hi-hats and then effects, horns, all this type of stuff. And then we get some extra stuff here, guitars. Um, and then all the way to the right is usually the vocals. They have some pretty cool vocal loops. Down here is where we can select which looper pack there is. They add new ones sometimes. You might have to buy them. I already have all of them. There's a bunch of different ones. I suggest loading them all up, listening to every sound. I really like the hip hop fusion one. I feel like it makes really cool beats to scratch it. The retro 80s is pretty cool. It's at 110. And then over here, down on the right, we could get our samples. So you could combine the looper and the sample. What you could do is you could set a drum beat and then we could add a vocal. So if we press record down here to the left, And then the sample will be going with the beat. So it's a good idea to practice combining these. So not only you'll make a looper beat, but also you could add some of the sample effects. And then you could also make your own effect, make your own samples. I made a lot of videos on that. And then you could have your own samples in your loop. Another thing that's cool is we can load up a track. So you could go into Tidal streaming service. If you watch my videos, you know I recommend Tidal. And then you could set, you could search vocal DJ sound effects. And now this is a sound effect. Microphone one, two, one, two. So you can add this into your loop or maybe have it say that before you start a loop. 
Microphone for one, two, one, two. And then there we go. Keep in mind that anything on the looper and the sampler, and as long as you're not using anything from a streaming service, you could press record. And now we'll end our recording. And then we can load this recording up into a deck and then we can loop our looper recording. And then if we press record again, we can start layering up. So you could almost produce your own original tracks all within the DJ Pro app. A lot of people don't think of layering up these recordings, but now I have the recording that we made with the loop. And then now I'm just gonna add some scratching to it. And now we'll load up. Now this is the loop that we scratched with the, this is the loop that we made with the layer of scratching in it. So that's just an example. Obviously you guys are gonna wanna do better loops and then add better scratching or something like that. But just keep in mind that you can build your own type of beat, your own type of track all within the app by layering up these recordings. So don't miss out on recording. And keep in mind, if you're using the built-in scratch sample and you're just using the looper and the sampler, then you could record all of this as long as you don't have anything loaded up from a streaming service. Even if you have something loaded up from a streaming service and you're not playing the song, it still will not let you record. So recording not available while using a songs from a streaming service. So keep that in mind. Another thing that you could do with one of those vocal tracks that we got from Tidal, we could add, we could loop it in to our loop. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So there we go. We used the looper and then we added some vocals on top of it all within the app all on the fly. So definitely test this out. Let your creativity run wild. If you've been DJing with just the DJ Pro app for a while and you got good at DJing, the same concept of getting the beats together, adding vocals, adding scratchings will just come so easy to you when you start using the looper. It's an amazing feature. There's other whole apps that basically do the same thing like Remix Live and the Launchpad app and definitely don't miss out on using the looper. Also, if you have Ableton link on, you press the middle button and then have Ableton link on, you could use the looper on your phone and have it linked to the looper on the iPad so you could be in classic mode or whatever screen you wanna be and still be have and still have the looper playing, but you still have all of the screen on your iPad. So don't miss out on Ableton link. If you want to learn more about the sampler, check out one of these videos where I show you how to make your own custom samples.